Hey everyone, Church of SDFU. Um, so this may be an old hat to some people, because it came out a couple of days ago. Um, but a very questionable exam came out from a religious school in, uh, in Australia. I think it was in uh, Perth, and I'm going to link to a blog that actually links to the uh, test, so you can look at it for yourself if you want to. Um, but one question in particular uh, raised some eyebrows, which was the question, uh, question seven, part of it, which was, is homosexuality the sickest sin there is? Um, and as part of that question was also another part, which was, is homosexuality natural for some people? And then it refers to Romans 1, 26, 27, which is, um, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature, and likewise also the men. Um, so basically, uh, the passage given is a passage which indicates that, you know, it is indeed the vilest of sins. Um, and, you know, I have to say, this kind of stuff in this day and age, it's, it's good that it gets out there. It's good that uh, whoever, whatever the kid was that took that test sheet along and, you know, however it got to the media, that's a good thing. But what's a terrible thing is that it's still happening. Um, because kids die over this kind of stuff. You know, kids commit suicide because they're gay and they're rejected. Um, and a lot of kids that don't commit suicide, you know, the, the rates of um, depression in the, the homosexual community are very high. And it's this kind of stuff. If you're that kid, you know, just imagine. Just imagine you're one of a minority anyways. Let's say you're, you know, whatever it is, something that you like something that you, is very very important to you and then suddenly you come along and you have to do a test which asks you with uh, passages of some important text that verify this whether that thing that you are that thing that's part of you is the vilest thing of all um, that's not a good thing that's not a good look that's a very very detrimental and destructive thing um, and I mean in light of this, so, you know, it really kind of, this kind of faith school should not be getting any government funding. I don't know if they are, but most faith schools in Australia are. It should not be getting a single red cent of taxpayer money, because this test is, um, wrong. This attitude is terrible. I mean... I personally, you know, since both races, since both race and sexual orientation are pretty much determined pre-birth, they're the same thing to me. If you can't have a test that asks, uh, is being black the sickest thing there is? or is being black inferior, then you can't have a test that asks that about homosexuality. And I'm sorry, I don't care about your belief. I really don't. You know, I mean, I respect your right to think whatever you want in the privacy of your own head, but it cannot be taught in a school um, which is accredited by the government to children. This cannot be. Um, so... Yeah, if you haven't heard about it, check it out. It's nasty stuff. Um, and in the blog, he goes through some other questionable questions in that test. And, I mean, I'm certainly no anti-theist. Um, far from it. I mean, you know, probably in my younger days, I used to be kind of more critical of religion. I've kind of gotten to the stage where I don't really think it's a major string puller in one way or another, you know. But this kind of stuff, you know, it might not change the world. It's an outdated attitude that will disappear. But it may change, significantly alter, the lives of some people.
it may destroy the lives of some people and that's why we've got to fight it because whilst this kind of test and the attitude behind it is one that's going to be overwhelmed by sheer common sense gay marriage will happen gay acceptance will happen all of these things will happen um, and there's no stopping it unless society goes backward you know for whatever reason it's gonna happen but until it does and even after it does such instances of um, blatant bigotry are going to lead to people being hurt they're gonna be hurt mentally and they may hurt themselves physically not to mention the fact that um, some asshole that does you know they're not an asshole to start with they're just a human being but once they do enough of these tests they're gonna get into their heads that the sickest thing out there is a homosexual and when they see that homo on the street they might decide to bash them and then you know they might bash them a little too hard and they might die so there's lots of ways in which this is really 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 bad stuff and there's no place for it there really isn't whether you believe we have to get rid of religion tomorrow which I don't um, or you know whatever your position is it doesn't really matter if your position is not that homosexuality is the sickest sin then we have to do something about this and if whatever that means if it means you know if it means if people cannot teach the Bible responsibly in school then they cannot teach the Bible in school um, even if it's a religious school if it's anything to do with a school that's government seal of approval it cannot have a seal of approval if it if it has a test like that so it's just not you know it's not a thing that society should or can condone it's really not I mean we know this by now Church of SDFU I'll see you guys all later